It's umsum time. Is overcooked oh. food good for us? Obviously. Burnt toast is my favorite. Oh, umsum. <laughs> Overcooking or charring the food from outside is in trend because it adds a smoky flavor and enhances the taste. Hmm. However, experts believe that overcooking can have negative health effects. Firstly, the longer you cook, the more nutrient oh. loss occurs. Secondly, overcooked food is hard to digest and metabolize. Thirdly, when we cook starchy food at high temperatures for longer periods, the naturally occurring sugar and amino acids react to form harmful carcinogens <laughs> like acrylamides. Whereas, overcooking of meat causes sugar, amino acids, and a substance called creatine to react, producing carcinogens <laughs> called heterocyclic amines. Lastly, while grilling, fat from the meat can drip onto the burning coal, leading to the production of carcinogens <laughs> called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Hence, it is recommended to cook food just until it gets a golden yellow color and not oh. until it turns brown or black. Hmm. Hmm? Are canned ah. foods safe? Huh? No, just pizzas are safe. Oh, um <laughs> some. Canning is basically a method in which food items are processed and then packed in airtight containers. This helps preserve food for longer periods. However, there are some disadvantages of canned foods. Firstly, canned foods can be high in sugar and salt, so they can pose a risk for mm? people with high blood pressure, <laughs> diabetes, obesity, etc. Hmm. Secondly, most cans have a coating of bisphenol A to prevent corrosion. Studies suggest that bisphenol A can leak into the food and have negative huh? effects on our hormones and reproductive system. Hmm. Thirdly, the acids present in food can react with the metal can and produce hydrogen gas, creating bulges, thus making food unsafe to eat. Hmm. Lastly, improper canning process can lead to growth of dangerous bacteria called Clostridium botulinum. It produces a lethal toxin which, if hmm? consumed, can paralyze our muscles and cause death if left untreated. Hmm. Is expired food huh? safe to eat? No problemo. I'm as strong as Hulk. <laughs> oh, um some. Usually we see three types of dates on food products. Sell by, best buy, and use by. Use by is what we call the expiry date. Consuming ah. food past this date may prove to be harmful. Firstly, the nutritional value of the food will reduce. Secondly, as bacteria don't usually grow at low temperatures, many foods are frozen. But if foods are kept at room temperature, bacteria will develop in them. Ah. Now, if consumed, they can cause vomiting, diarrhea, food poisoning, etc. Thirdly, it is believed that when canned food expires, the acids present in food react with the metal can and produce hydrogen gas, creating bulges in the can and thus making the food unsafe to eat. So, expiry date is definitely a good indicator. But apart from ah. that, we should also rely on our senses of smell and sight to check uh -huh. the quality of the food. Hmm. Is fermented food uh -huh. good for us? No! French fries are the best for me! Alright, oh. now listen. Fermentation is a process in which natural bacteria and yeast break down the sugar and starch present in the food, ah. producing lactic acid and other compounds. For decades, Fermenting was a technique to preserve food. However, nowadays, fermented food is getting a lot of attention because of the benefits it provides. Firstly, as the fermented food is pre-digested or broken down by bacteria, these foods are easier for us to digest. Ah. Secondly, fermentation increases the nutritional value by producing beneficial enzymes and vitamins. Thirdly, as microorganisms break down lactose present in the food, lactose intolerant people can eat yogurt and other fermented hmm. milk products. Lastly, fermented foods contain probiotics which are good or friendly bacteria. They improve our gut health, thus leading to a healthy immune system. Hmm. Is dairy good or bad? Huh? Dude, anything that has cheese can never be bad. Oh, you are unbelievable. <laughs> Dairy has become a controversial subject these days. 
Some say it is good because of its high nutritional value. A single cup of whole milk contains a little bit of almost everything our body needs. Calcium makes our bones strong. Potassium regulates blood pressure, etc. In addition to this, fermented dairy products contain probiotics. They improve our gut health. Also, dairy obtained from grass-fed cows has more omega-3 fatty acids, which are beneficial for heart and brain health. This being said, some say dairy is bad because a large number of people are lactose intolerant. Lactose is a natural sugar found in milk products. Besides this, since we are the only species that consumes milk in adulthood, and that to the milk of other animals, Huh? It is thought to be unnatural for us to do so. Hmm. Don't know, but fast food is definitely good. Nah. Huh? Although fasting as a religious practice ah. has been a part of our lives for centuries, but nowadays fasting is seen as an effective tool for weight loss. Hmm. Now, researchers huh? suggest that if done in the right way, fasting can be beneficial. For example, the food we eat is broken down to produce a sugar called glucose. Hmm? Now, since huh? fasting restrains the production of sugar, it can be useful for those at risk of diabetes. Besides this, studies claim that fasting prevents cancer and improves heart health. However, researchers also suggest that it is not safe for everyone. For example, Diabetic patients take medications to lower their blood sugar. Ah. So, fasting in such cases can further drop the blood oh. sugar to a much lower level, which can be fatal. Besides this, fasting is not advisable for pregnant women, sick people, etc. Hmm. 